Hi, this is a short video just giving you an overview of some of the basics in Microsoft Project. So the very first thing we do when we open up a project file is we go in and we set the project start date. So we go onto the project tab and in the properties group we click on project information. In there we can select the start date. So I'm going to choose a date of the 15th of November. I'm going to click OK. Now the next thing we do then is we go in and we set the task mode. So we go onto the task tab and over here in the task group we click on the drop down there from mode and we're going to select auto schedule. So that means that all new tasks are going to be automatically scheduled. This We always do this. It's essential. The only time you're ever going to use manual scheduling is if you're an expert in Microsoft Project. So we click auto scheduled. Next thing we do then is we type in the tasks in our task column. Now, I already have some tasks typed up here in this Word document, so I'm just going to copy them. Control C. I'm going to paste them in here. Control V. So now we see we have all our tasks in there. We can see that the task mode is automatically is set to auto schedule. They're all in there. So because we're set to auto schedule, that means that our a duration has to be applied. So by default, it just puts in one day. Okay. We can also see the start date there is the 15th and it's the same for them all because none of the tasks are linked together yet. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some of these tasks as summary tasks. So you can see I already have my summary tasks highlighted uh, from, uh, from where I copied them from. So all I want to do is I'm going to select the tasks that I want to become uh, subtasks for these summary tasks. So what I do is I'm going to select my task. So I hold my cursor over the row number until the cursor changes to a black arrow. That allows me to select the row. But I want to select multiple rows. So what I do is hold the cursor over uh, the row number, left click and hold down. Then I drag down to select multiple rows. Then on the task tab over in the schedule group, I'm going to click on the indent task button click on the indent tasks and now we can see that those tasks there for tasks that I've just indented have been rolled up underneath uh, my design phase so now there's a, the design phase task that I had there has now become a summary task and I can I can see that it's a summary task because if I look over in the Gantt chart I can see the summary task is indicated by the black line there the black hook there so I'm just going to do the same then for the rest of these tasks down below. Highlight them, indent them, highlight, indent, and highlight and indent. Okay, so now I have my four summary tasks and all these subtasks underneath them. Now. What I'm going to do now next is I'm going to link these tasks. So I'm just going to make an assumption here for this, uh, just for this demonstration. I'm just going to assume that all of these tasks are linked together uh, with a start, with a finish start relationship. So I'm going to select all the rows for all the tasks, and then up in the on the task tab in the schedule group, I'm going to click on link. And what that does is that's going to link all of these tasks together. So now we're assuming that none of these tasks can start until the previous one has been finished. So we can see something else has happened here. We know that by default, because they're auto-scheduled tasks, that a one-day duration has been just inserted there. But that's only a temporary placeholder. But now we can see that our summary tasks have now uh, changed in duration. That's because at no stage will I ever type in um, a duration into the summary task. The summary task duration is, is simply an accumulation of all of the durations, the collective uh, uh, durations of the subtasks underneath that. So at no stage will I type uh, in a duration there. I will definitely type in durations now for these individual tasks. So let's go in and even change some of these. I'll go in and just change some of those tasks there. And we can see as I start changing them, we can see that the summary task is, is totaling up there. So we can see the summary task is totaling up, adding up all them. Now, if we look at something else over here, look in the start date, we have the 15th of the 11th. But look at all these. I didn't even type that start date in there into this column. I typed that in at the very start when I was setting up 
uh, the project. I typed in one start date. That's it. Um, all these other dates then are automatically generated by Microsoft Project based on the duration of your tasks and the link between the tasks, how the tasks are linked. So at no stage will I ever type in any dates into any of these here. That is the power of Microsoft Project. It takes all of your tasks and their durations and their relationship with one another and it tells us how long the project is going to take and the different phases of the project are going to take and our start and finish dates for all our activities and tasks. So I hope this uh, I hope this helps. Uh, thanks very much.